friends, my name is Pramod Singh, I am the director of ISH. Now today we are going to discuss a very important topic called planning in India. So topic is planning in India. Now basically if you try to understand, the idea behind this topic is to understand the evolution of economy, evolution of Indian economy rather. That is the phase if we try to understand right from 1947 till 2018. Typically, if you say the plan, the first plan started in 1951. So we can also say the period is from 1951 to 2017. The last plan was in 2017. Now let's understand why we are starting this topic. In UPSC, the questions that come, they mainly come from the trend areas. Okay, so they are looking at trends, the evolution. The concepts have to be applied and you need to have a macro picture about the entire topic. Now, we have to draw a line and if I say that right from 1947 till 2018, we can divide broadly the entire area into two phases. One is from 1947 or you can say 1951 because the first plan started during this period till 1991. and from 1991, the second phase of 2018 at the current level. Now, this period is a period where the economic mode approach was was mainly based on socialism. Socialism, which means government control. We can also say that economy was closed in this period, closed economy. In this phase, the economy took a turn and economy became open. And here the approach was the capitalist trend. Which means here the government control is there and here there is a private ownership of private means of production approach is there which typically means that the role of the government or intervention of the government was limited government intervention here economy open now what do you mean by open economy open economy which means you allow the trade to happen between different countries whether it's the export import or investment or movement of capital, flow of capital, movement of people, technology, everything. So this is a phase of open economy. In a closed economy, the government or the beyond the boundaries of your economy, the trade does not happen. Or happen if it happens, you know, it happens in a limited manner. So we were morally a typically a closed economy, not a hundred percent terms, but mostly the trend was that open open economy. So today we have you know, trade which means export, import, investment, FDI, FII, all this happens in open economy. In a closed economy, it happens in a limited manner. In a perfectly or ideally closed economy, there is no trade, no export, no import. So we can divide the entire phase into this two period. Now let's understand that what is the model that we took here. If you try to see, we followed a planned economic model, a planned economic model. In this planned economic model, the approach was to follow the goals of the government, although some goals were there. So there were four planning goals, which the majorly the focus was. So goals of planning model were The first is economic growth. Now remember, try to understand, let's go in 1947 or in the period of early 1950s, you would understand during this period India was an underdeveloped country. Underdeveloped country which means which has limited resources, limited income, there was scarcity of capital, population was high, there was high level of poverty. Uh, there was limited saving, limited uh, no foreign trade. So these were the aspects. 
and primarily the economy was agrarian nature. Agrarian in nature, which means the economy was mode of economic production was agriculture, which means country was in a situation where our capital formation was very less or no. And that is why the planning model said that let's focus on economic growth, let's improve the capacity of the economy, enhance the protein capacity of the economy, and for that you need growth. Growth typically means in you know, capital formation or increase in size of the GDP, that is gross domestic product. That was the first focus, that is economic growth. The second part or the second uh, pillar of the uh, second goal was modernization. Now, modernization means advancement in terms of technology. As I said, India was an economy or country where technological you know, uh, uh, evolution was very low. We were not industrialized. So, modernization and it was mainly in terms of technology, research and development. And we tried to increase our capacity and match the developed countries. So, that was second pillar or second goal of the planning model, modernization. The third is self-reliance. Now self-reliance which means approach in which country you know wants to develop its capacity and they do not want to reduce and they want to reduce the dependence on others. Now if you go in the history of the past 200 years you will see that India was mainly more, it was a colony of British. So being a colony of Brit Britain we were depend on them. In fact they systematically destroyed our industries, they systematically ensured there was a drain of resource and wealth to their country and that is why Post-independence, we deliberately made an attempt to ensure that our growth model is self-reliance, which means we will develop our capacity, we will not import anything, we will not you know, take any help from uh, foreign countries, and if we take it, we will be on our own condition. So basically, self-reliance is the approach of policy wherein we focus on, in fact, import substitution. A lot of people say it is import substitution. So we will not import, we will substitute with the domestic production. So you import with the domestic production. But remember domestic production will require enhancement of your capacity building and which was not there. And the fourth pillar is social justice. Social justice means approach in which we tend to help the have not society. Now India was a country which more than 70% of population, more than 70% of the population below poverty line during independence and that is the reason we focus on social justice here which means allowing, you know, ensuring that the population of the country has the basic resources, education, health and of course justice also means about we had a systematically uh, stratified society, caste divisions were there, you know class divisions were there which needs to be addressed for social justice. So this was one of the you know also very important part of the planning model. So these are the four pillars on which the economic growth was there and remember the entire four there was an intervention. In fact, this economy model was also called a centralized planning model. Why? Because government was supposed to play a major role. So in the centralized planning model, the government will take the major role and there will be limited private players. So private players will have a limited approach. So these were India was a country with limited resources, limited uh, you know, industries, if, if there were, you know, they were basic industries or textile industries, but we were lacking the base of industrialization. So, so focus here was to develop the base of industry, industrialization. And base of industrialization will require some basic industries. And capital goods industries. So capital goods industries and basic industries are industries which develop the base. For example, iron steel. Okay? For example, cement. For example, heavy industries yeah, or heavy machineries. Remember, all these will provide or provide input or help for developing the consumer goods. So this, what we are using, this whiteboard, this blackboard, this marker, these are the consumer goods. But for making consumer goods, you didn't need capital goods. Capital goods and basic industries were focused around that period and the idea was to develop the base of industrialization. And this will be government-led, remember. Private will have no role here. 
So socialist economy means government will play the, play the major role and private will have a limited role. And the private players too were there, but they had limited or regulated role. This model was based on Soviet Russia. This model was based on Soviet Russia, so you also got a Soviet model, a model based on centralized plan of Soviet Russia. So we adopted this model, the idea was to develop the capacity. Now these industries, the basic goods and capital goods were critical industries and, and that is why government said I will take the lead role. The private players were, had limited or regulated role and the reason why they were limited, why? Because at that time socialism also says that government should ensure that there should be equitable distribution of wealth. People should not have, you know, uh, you know, wealth and because that will create divided society. Have and have not. So that is why private were limited and they were regulated. They were mainly focused on covered areas of consumer goods. So this was the you know, tone of the development which happened. Now we'll the next video we'll take it. Uh, you know, we'll adopt. We'll go to the planning aspect of this model.